Sorry guys, we have to say goodbye to a good friend today. It's very sad, but we have to hand back the keys to our Ford Ranger FX4. It has been an awesome workhorse for the last six months. It has hauled cars and parts and engines. It has been fantastic. Engine hoists and 440 big blocks and all that sort of stuff, diffs, you name it. It has hauled it. It's been to summer nats, it's been to red center nats, it's been to drag challenge. It's done 20,000 k's since we've had it. So it's done a few miles. It's been fantastic and it's really sad to see it go. However, it is not all sadness because we're getting a wild track. That's right, Ford's giving us a Ford Ranger wild track, but that won't be ready till February. So in the meantime, we're getting a Ford Ranger Raptor for the next three or four weeks, and that's gonna be awesome. So, let's check out the Ranger. I think it's waiting for me right now. Sorry, old girl. The last time. Woohoo! Check it out. Alright, just so the security guys don't jump on me, I'm going to film this somewhere else. So this is it, the chariot. Ford Ranger Raptor and it is a sexy beast. Check it out, magnesium side steps and they're pretty heavy duty too, like they'll take my weight. Makes it easy to get in too. So, 157 kilowatts, twin turbo, 500 newton meters of torque. Not much to see under here though. Pretty full. Be nice to see if a coyote had fit in here, but I don't think it would. Although if you pulled all this other crap out of me. Still, she's a sporty little beast. Like I said, twin turbo. It's a totally pow different power delivery to the old 3.2. Totally different. You jump out of that into this and yeah, you're like, Whoa, so yeah, just you've got power everywhere, which is interesting, you know. So, 33 inch tall tyres, Fox Racing shocks, it's got disc brakes front and rear. She's been obviously raised up a bit, and big fender flares like the whole thing is like 170 mil wider than your normal Ranger. So, yeah, it's a beast, it looks awesome. I love this colour, a lightning blue. All it needs is a bit of a hard tonneau just to lock in all the, uh, the goodies. But I guess they're trying to sell this to the uh, motorcycling crowd. So you can pull down the tailgate, stick your dirt bikes in the back, or even just stick all your gear in the back. Hook up your trailer and haul your dirt bikes out to the, uh, the track or the bush. Got tow points, pretty decent tow bar, even though it has a reduced towing capacity compared to the other one. So, the uh, Wild Track and the FX4 and all that, they've got three and a half ton towing capacity. This only got two and a half ton because of the sporty suspension. Still, it's going to be a fun little beast. So, this has got curl spring instead of leaf spring. Ugh. You are correct. It does have coil spring. Wow, and those it's shocks. Got disc brakes on the back. I did say that, but yeah, the shocks yeah. look pretty fancy. Yeah. The racing shocks. Racing shocks. That's what we want. And the exhaust dumps at the diff. That is also very interesting. Hmm. The big BF Goodrich tyres, like I said, 33s. And it tells you it's a Raptor just about everywhere. Raptor, Raptor. On the steering wheel, Raptor. On the floor mats, Raptor. Ford performance. And Ford Performance. 
nice red uh, indicator on the steering wheel to tell you when you're going straight. That's very important in a Ranger. Yeah. Some say it might be very important to Scotty. So. Good different dials as well. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's different. I mean, it's all the other cars tend to have digital dashes now. This has got good old fashioned dials, which I like. It's got obviously all the gear that you come to expect in these cars, so sat nav, Bluetooth, good stereo system, it's got six speaker stereo system, seats are comfortable. It's going to make an awesome daily for the first, next four weeks or whatever and then uh, we'll get a wild track. It's even got flappy paddles. For those that want to get sporty. You're going to have to take it out bush sometime, see what it's like, off road. I heard you can jump these pretty high. I have heard that. <laughs> and given that this one's a press vehicle and it's got 13,000 kilometres on it, I'm saying this has done a few jumps. Indeed. I reckon it's gone off many a gutter, over many a speed hump. But I like it. I like it a lot. So how cool is that? That's going to be my daily for the next four weeks or so until we get out wild track. But still, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out in Carnage in the next 12 months, including obviously Turbo Taxi. We're going to run 10s with that. We actually took it out the track again the other day. We'll let you know how that went in the next episode of Carnage. But obviously, Mr. Dodgy, we're going to tune him up, take him to the track as well. We're going to revisit the Barina, get some suspension under that, go out racing with that. And obviously, the Volvo that everyone keeps asking about. Plus, we're looking at going out to the Salt Lake as well, which will be very cool. So, lots coming up on Carnage. So, make sure you keep watching. <laughs>